Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to Journey. Yes, we're going on another journey. Every time I say that, I sound like I'm trying to get you, you and my viewers, to like do drop mushrooms or something, or drop acid. Um, picking up pretty much where we left off. I'm going to come clean e immediately. Um, this is being recorded on a different day. I had originally intended to record everything the same day, but I'd done a lot of other recording, not even gaming, just regular recording with my camera, and the batteries were really low. And looking at that, I realized I didn't have time for another episode. So I popped the batteries on charge, I edited the first one, which is actually the first time I've ever edited something the same day I recorded it, at least gaming. And then I picked it up again today, I could have just continued, but I really wanted to get back into the mood of it, and I wasn't that far, so I went, uh, I started up a new game, and I found two lights that I didn't have before, which is why my tail might be a little bit longer. The first one I saw actually when editing the video for the first one, which like I said, is the first time I've ever edited a video the same time I recorded it, like immediately after. It was just because I really still wanted to play the game. Anyways, I found a light. I'll show the footage there. Then another one, when I was walking through the desert area that I was al already in, I just came across something that I didn't find before. And there's a light there. I'll show that as well. So other than that, we're picking up exactly where we left off on what is actually my favorite part, I think. The desert slalom. Okay. Remember, the thing is you want to try and get through as many of these slalom hoops as you can. Whoa, fuck, and I just missed one. And you can't, you can't turn around. Fuck. I think there's some lights here too. If I don't remember where or how you get them, like, uh. I love the music for this part too. It reminds me almost of like Firefly. Did you guys ever see that show? It's got like that almost Western, like fun, yeah, we're going feel to it. Oh, there's a light right there. Can I get it? Yes, I can. Nice. Yeah, this is this is my favorite part of the game. I think it's the most... Oh, I can't go in there. I think it's the most beautiful part of the game. Oh, I think I had to get that light while I was falling like that, too. That's... That's, that's some decent thinking on my part. Uh, other than that, I did... Um, run into another player, which means I guess that people do still play into this play this game, but the player was just running in a circle, so I think he just like set down his remote or was glitching out or something like, I'm not even gonna bother showing footage of that, I didn't bother keeping that just cause there was, it wasn't actually a person. I do hope that I meet somebody in this game, cause that's such a big part of the game is the co-op aspect, and it does kind of give me hope that there was at least one other guy playing this game. Which, considering this is a five-year-old... Ugh, we're 2017 now. Considering this is a five-year-old PlayStation 3 game, I'm impressed that there is somebody still playing it. That's, that's, that's cool. It kind of... It kind of... I don't know how to word that. It kind of gives credence to the fact that this is a really good game, that... Like, a tiny game like this that many years after still has a few people playing at, like, odd hours of the night. Although we could have been in another country, I have no idea. Alright. And watching back the footage, too, something I want to remark on is that I noticed how well this game... Okay... I noticed how well this game actually teaches you how to do things. Where am I? Oh, I'm not even in this. How well this game teaches you how to do things. Like at the very beginning, you come up to that light, it shows you that you can absorb the lights, and then it teaches you that you can fly. And then later on, they have lights out of reach that teach you you can fly like that to get to the, the glyphs and the lights. Oh my god, look at the lighting effects on that. On the sand. That looks so good. So good. It's 
speaking of learning to fly, if you can guess, I have to use this massive pile of people to fly up to the next area. I was just trying to make sure that there was no more glyphs. I feel like I probably have missed a few, even though I found two that I had, had missed before. Alright guys, bump me up. I know, this is going to be another slidey area. The way the music just, like, dynamically kicks in. Oh, man, it's so good. Okay. Where am I going? And it's got, like, such a nice mix of just, like, peaceful and, like, exciting. You know what I mean? Oh, I think there is a light up there, actually. A glyph. Oh, well. Ugh. Actually, you know what? I might only have to go through them for an achievement, which I obviously have already gotten. I don't remember. It's been such a long time. It's such a good game. They use color to a Oh, this is the part. With the diamond sands. Oh, I hope that looks good on the capture. Like this here, you see the mountain. And you're just gliding along the sands in this just forgotten city. Something else I'll say, um, I really realized it when I was playing this again, like when I just replayed it 10 minutes ago or whatever, like, this game is so emotionally powerful. <laughs> like, oh, without talking, without dialoguing, without anything, because this talking, uh, I'm a little bit distracted by the act of talking, so I'm not 100% like mentally like locked into this game you know what i mean and off the cliff that is some strong music and then silence okay no glyph as far as i can see so i guess it's just time to activate this oh and that's something else i never noticed you see on this stone, how there's those three glyphs right in front. I think that's actually telling you if you discovered all like those those walls. You know when I go up to a wall and I like play a note and then like some pictures appear on it? I think that's telling me that there were three walls and that I discovered all three walls. I think that's what it's telling me. Although I might not have in this. Because it might carry over knowing that I'd beaten the game, saying that I've just discovered those three in general. But, yeah, it's cool, man. That's something else. I've, I've never delved into what the story is supposed to mean in this game. I've always... It's the kind of story that I think is best if you draw your own conclusions. And playing it through again, especially alone without another player... It really hammers in like the loneliness and like the desolate feeling of like this game. For me, not having looked into what the creators have said, not having any of that, what I take away from this game is that you're like the last survivor of this race. And this race seems to have created technology. You remember like that really dark, ominous technology in the last area? They seem to have created that using the light of maybe the glyphs and I think what they're getting at is that that technology destroyed them because they're going through all like these dead areas you know what I mean I think that's what it's getting at wow that's a good shot maybe I'll use that for the thumbnail um yeah but this game it uses the music and the atmosphere and the silence and lack of noise to such good effect like I've never seen a game that does it as well as this one. Never before this and even since, man. This area is 
If I remember, scary. <laughs> Biting my lip. <laughs> but yeah, if you want a testament to how good this this is, I have almost an unspoken rule. Or I just... Oh, this isn't the scary area. Okay, I can talk here. Yeah, that's fine. I have almost an unspoken rule where I don't... Um, I don't edit things the same day I record them. Because I find it's a good... I find it's really good to take a step back, look at what you've made, see, like, what is good about this, what is bad about this, what do I want to do with it? Like, I just, I don't usually edit the same day I record. It's usually the day after, or with the backlog, a few days after, significant time after, you know? So the fact that I was like, I just want to be in this world, I have to edit the video, really was, like, a testament to just... Just how much I love this game and just how good this game is. Because this game deserves all the praise I'm giving it. I don't think, this is definitely not a game for everyone. If you're the kind of person who likes shooters, like all you want is just to, to fight and just to knock out your opponents and that's all you want in a video game, well then you're not really going to get much out of this, are you? But if you actually like, like a cerebral game, then this game is really... This game will do well by you. Let me put it that way. Oh, I knew there was a glyph here. Like, if you like a game that makes you feel things, <laughs> then this is... This is the game for you, and... It might be... In all my media, like, there's... For games, there's a lot of different games that I like. Like, I like games that are just addictive, that are just fun. I like games that make me feel things. I like games that really get me invested in, like, a really good story. Like, is there something in here? No. There's just, there's a lot of different kinds of games that I like. And I'm not the kind of person who says, oh, you, you only have to like one kind of game. Like, oh, if you like RPGs, you only like RPGs. If you like... MMOs, you only like MMOs, like, there's a lot of different kinds of games that are all... Oh, I, I just float here. As soon as I touch these, I just float up. That's cool, that's a new mechanic. Like, there's a lot of good kind of games out there. And I really believe that, like what you like. I have very varied taste. Which, if you watch my channel for any length of time, you'll see. I, this is running up against um, Super Mario Runner. That's what's coming up on Friday. And then on Sunday, I, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe Connect Sports, or if not, that'll be later. Like, I've got a lot of options. But see, I have a very, very taste when it comes to games. And I think that's good. Like, there's a lot of different kinds of games out there. You shouldn't limit yourself, just like movies. Although movies, I think I'm even more picky. Like these days, the only movies that I enjoy are movies that actually make me feel something. Like, the only movies I enjoy are movies where at the end of it I'm like, do I, am I, I'm not going to say am I a different person because I don't think any movies have like really changed me, but did that actually make me think? Did that actually make me feel something? So as you can tell, I'm not a big fan of like Transformers or Michael Bay in general or any, or even superhero movies. Although the superhero movies, there are good ones. Like I really liked um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm excited for the second part, which I think comes out 2017. I've seen trailers. Like I like the superhero, I like Deadpool. I mean, everybody liked Deadpool. I like the superhero movies that kind of break the the norm, break the trend, and are still different from, like, the majority of them, but, like, this is just not the kind of movies I enjoy, it's not the kind of media I consume, I want some, I want it to have value, I just don't want something to eat popcorn to, and just, like, write off a few hours of my life, and I feel that way a lot with games as well, there has to be something for me to get invested in. Whether it's good gameplay, addictive, good story, something, there just has to be something to it to make me... Make me want to spend hours and hours of my life on it, you know? Or even not necessarily hours and hours, but 
If I go all the way down, do I die? Oh, sorry, hit the mic stand. That's something else that I'll say um, they do a really good job of in this game is they use filters. Like right now they're using a, like a, a vignette and I think kind of some kind of cloudy blue filter over it. Oh yeah, these, I love these guys, they're like squids or octopus. I think they're more like octopus than squids. Oh my god, that's bright. Oh, that hurts my eyes. Yeah, these guys are cool. Oh, gl glyph, glyph. All about that glyph, yo. Hashtag glyph life. <laughs> That's, that'd be a weird hashtag. If whoever watches this, if you see this and you tweet me hashtag glyph life, I will retweet that shit. Okay, oh, fuck. This is the scary part. Oh. I got like a, a stomach clench just knowing what was coming. Yeah, this game has spells where it's intense, where it's fun, where it's beautiful, and where it's scary as fuck, yo. Okay, there's one of those walls somewhere here. Isn't there? Uh, I don't like this. You know, this is the kind of thing where having a friend would make this a little bit more palatable. <laughs> okay, so there's shit that's going to fly out of the ground and try to murder me. I don't dig it. Can you dig it? No, I cannot. They structured this is that you can't just stay out of sight you have to these are the fuckers that just woke up you have to fucking you know what I mean I thought there was one that had like a doorway here uh, yeah yeah buddy we we gotta do this I don't like it any more than you do I don't remember if you can die in this game I don't know if my mic actually picked me up whispering. <laughs> That's actually good that I get to kind of try out this mic a little. Oh yeah, in the last episode I said I was going to talk about the new tech I was using. Um, not a good time, but I will do that maybe in the episode after. Okay, so they use fucking spotlights to try and find me. If they see me, the spotlights turn red and I am fucked. That's what they do to me. Here is the wall I was thinking of. Ugh. You know, I hope I never have to do horror games. Cause so I'm gonna be such a little bitch if I have to do horror games. Although, you know, I would probably make for some views and be entertaining if I'm playing horror games and I'm just total fucking pussy bitch, but like, oh, I don't have the stomach for it. There's glyphs, there's glyphs somewhere. Here. Oh my god, did you see me? Uh, uh. Oh, I was thinking that maybe there was a glyph in here, but I guess not. Oh. Nothing to see here, officer. Nothing to see here. Oh, fuck my life. 
No, you didn't. You didn't see me. You didn't hear me. I am a leaf on the wind. I'm just gonna hide here and assess the situation. <laughs> oh, all right, fuck it, guys. Yolo. <laughs> God, I hate myself for saying that. There are glyphs here. Not in there. That's, I think that's the only glyph. Yeah, give me, give me the tail. Is that what happens when he hits me? Does it just hurt my tail energy? It might be, I don't remember this game having death. If it does, then it does. Fuck, this is gonna be the whole episode. It's just me doing this part. All right, fuck it guys. We gotta, we gotta make a run for it. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, we'll make it. We'll make it. It's gonna be close, but we'll make it. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> I vaguely remember that, but... There were four here. Maybe that counts the glyphs, not just the screens you find. I don't know. I really, I don't know. Oh, you can't even see it. I was not a fan of that area. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I mean. I feel like it's saying that you're like one of the last survivors and you're looking up like your ancestors. You're looking at like the people who came before you who kind of like destroyed their world. And you're like one of the few that are left. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting from this game. Especially looking back on it now with such a fresh perspective. There I am. I don't remember the order of the environments anymore. It's been, uh... Is this the one with the giant tower in the middle next? Wonder, will you let me go back? Oh, they let me go back. Ah, I'd rather go in the light, thanks. Oh, and see what I mean about having a long fucking tail? I'm like halfway through the game maybe, and this is how long my tail is. Like it gets ridiculous. Donkulous by the end. Okay, so this is the area with the central tower. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. And if you've noticed, the mu music is getting slowly more serious over the course of the game. Yeah. It's not like it's funny. I get told that I'm too serious in my let's play, so fuck you, I'm playing a serious game. <laughs> this is easily the most serious game I think I've played. Well, play Proteus, which maybe I'll put a link to Proteus in the, um, in like the end screen, but it's an old one, so it wasn't filmed the best. It doesn't sound the best, but still. That's cool. I don't remember that. Oh, and this is... I remember, yeah, this is like water, I think. Yeah, this is water. And in here, there's actually a reference to another one of their games, Flow. Just got it. Oh, all about that glyph life. Hashtag glyph life. Like, I remember in one of them, I'll try and find it, since I did find the flower reference. Why not find the... <gasps> See that white light? That means I have another player in my game. I don't know where they are, though. I might have lost them. Oh no, I still see a white light. I think they're just way the fuck above me. I'll try and make it to them, but... 
I would love to play this with like a companion, you know? It's, it's that flashing white light. That's really cool. I really hope that's somebody and that we can have a a, a gurney adventure together. I don't see them though. I might have lost them. If I lost them, I lost them. I mean, maybe I'll catch up with them later. Oh, the white light's still there. Is he, like, just waiting for me up there? He might just be waiting for me. It's saying he's up there, I think. I hope, I hope I find this guy. Or girl. That's another one of the awesome things, is that... Cause, oh, there they are! I see them! That's really awesome. And they're in a red cloak. That means they might actually be a new player to this game. I hope they are. Yeah! Let's go on a gurney together. That's really cool. Oh, I forgot how awesome it is when you play with other players. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait a minute, there's a light over here. Are you coming with? I think I lost them. <laughs> if I did lose them, I mean, hey, whatevs, yo, but I think I might have lost them by going for that. There's another wall. Oh, I think that's them. Oh no, that's that's this thing, whatever this thing is. Ah, oh, I think I lost the player because I went for the glyph. Ah, oh, that's too bad. And if you can guess, I kind of have to do something with this guy, I do believe. Still, even if I don't play anymore with another player, I'm glad you guys got to see the other player. And that, that, that that's an aspect in the game. And it's actually cool if I just meet randomly a different player instead. No, I don't know where the flow reference is. I thought for sure it was in somewhere like there, but... Oh well. Alright guys, I tried. That is cool. And I will say, it's gonna be hard to do a Let's Play where I gotta do an intro with, like, another player waiting on me, but... That's, that's awesome. Maybe, maybe I'll meet them in another area instead. It's really awesome that there's still people who play this game, like legitimately play, not like that fucking guy caught in that endless loop. That's really, that's really cool. Another wall, another brick in the wall. I think when I finish this area, that'll be when I end this episode. It's, I'm, I'm really, I'm not really used to recording episodes for this long. I'm really used to, to like my 15 minute format with lots and lots of jump cuts. So it's a little bit hard for me to pace these. So some of these might be a little longer. Some of them might be a little shorter. So I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I, I definitely lost the, the guy or girl. I lost the other person, I should say. Oh well. It's 
still. That was cool, wasn't it? That I got another player? That was really cool. Maybe I'll meet them again sometime. And I'll probably see... But something else, I have no idea who the other player is. Basically, at the end of the game, though, you get to see the, the PSNs of everybody you, you met. So that's a nice, that's a nice touch that they add. More, more plot. It's like the spirits of his ancestors. And he's learning. So it doesn't mean that they're necessarily white in the cutscenes. I remember I said that in the last one. Let's see, there's red people. But yeah, this is cool. I like this. I, I like this. This is, this is just an awesome game. Oh, the music gives me shivers. Now, can I just say I'm really happy to be recording videos again. With the backlog and everything, it's... It's been way too long since I've been able to just sit down and do this. Oof. There's the mountain. Always, always heading towards that mountain. Look how... That looks like something in a Skyrim, like... That shot was so pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's something else. All these areas over here... That's so you can actually chapter select. So you don't have to play through them all if you don't want to. You can just play the chapters that you want to play. Anyways, guys. That's going to be it for this episode, though. In the next one, I'm going to move on to the next area and do all that. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying filming it. So yeah, guys, um, thanks a lot for watching, and I noticed I forgot to do this in the last one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, it's Rob Noir. Welcome to another Let's Play on the State of Mar channel. This time I'm doing a really interesting game. It's a game called Proteus. It's what's called a walking simulator.